In this tutorial, we will begin to take a look at some of the legal issues and other items surrounding the use of audio applications, video applications, and similar multimedia applications in Linux. Linux, and Ubuntu Linux specifically, has a wealth of information, a broad base of, and a broad base of applications allowing users to use their uh, multimedia files, whether it's photos or music or video or anything else. Ubuntu Linux, for example, contains lots of different applications installed by default, and there are many more available for download off of the Internet. But under graphics, uh, it includes the F-Spot Photo Manager, the GIMP Image Editor, GThumb Image Viewer, and the Xane Image Scanner. Additionally, under sound and video, there is a movie player, uh, the Rhythmbox music player, a really nice jukebox type of player, the Serpentine Audio CD Creator, and the Sound Juicer CD Extractor. And again, there are many, many other uh, pieces of software that do similar things, but that just that some people prefer more than others, uh, available for free for download off of the internet. The problem comes with um, potentially using some of the multimedia files. Unfortunately, as um, uh, one can see here in the online documentation for Ubuntu Linux, uh, there are issues regarding video playback, audio playback, and the use of multimedia codecs. A codec is a little bitty piece of software uh, that audio and video applications need in order to uh, interpret various video or audio files. For example, you have probably heard of QuickTime or Windows Media Player or MP3 uh, or MPEG. Those, those are all formats and video and audio formats and codecs are the little pieces of software that are required to interpret, in other words, to listen to or play those files. Now, there are multimedia codecs available for most formats in Ubuntu Linux, but there are warnings that, you, that one can find throughout the Ubuntu Linux documentation. For example, this one right here. Some of these packages may not be permitted in some countries. You should verify that you are permitted to use them before installing them. There is another uh, similar warning on the DVD playback. Unfortunately, the legal status of this library is not fully clear. In some countries, it is possible that the use of this library to play or copy DVDs is not permitted by law. Verify that you are within your rights by using it. Unfortunately, in some countries, including the United States, the ability to play your legally purchased DVDs that you have bought on your computer is, is not allowed. So the status of some of these codecs is very questionable. There are a lot of people, a lot of very... Um, influential people who are attempting to make changes in that area, but until that happens, uh, at the time of this recording, the legalities of using some of these codecs to view your own uh, material is is uh, questionable. So, you know, whether or not one chooses to install these codecs, it's of course up to the, each particular user. There are ways to activate DVD decryption and to uh, and to uh, enable the codecs to listen to MP3s and other similar restricted formats, and some of these things are legal in some countries and, and potentially not legal in other countries, so it's up to the user to make those determinations of whether or not using those codecs is, is okay. But once those codecs are installed, if one can install them, then there are a variety of applications to allow you to watch DVDs, you know, your legally purchased uh, DVDs on your own computer, or to listen to your MP3s, or to uh, encode uh, your legally purchased uh, CDs as MP3s, for example, if you want to listen to them on a on a portable media device or other similar device, uh, all of that uh, stuff is easily uh, and very possible in Ubuntu Linux. It's just that uh, there are unfortunately some legal hurdles behind uh, doing some of that. And so um, I, I mention this in this particular tutorial simply because sometimes new users to Linux are, are a little frustrated when DVD playback or MP3 playback does not work right away. And it's and it has nothing to do with the Linux distribution. It's, it's very easy to get that working. But it's just that uh, unfortunately the laws of some countries are are extremely restrictive and, and, and the laws in some countries even perhaps criminalize the, your playback of your own uh, legally purchased DVDs, for example. So 
you know, do exercise some caution and uh, do some research on this issue and, and then make a determination of whether or not uh, installing those codecs is something that, that one can do. And so uh, with that introduction, uh, that is the end of this tutorial on uh, the legal availability of video and audio codecs in multimedia applications on Ubuntu Linux. Thank you very much.